Let's like, see. okay. Oh, man, man. Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is Dr. Hurts, God's Vision Ministry. Amen. I'm here in Lafayette. Amen. With Prophet Cory Yancey. He's in Alexandria. Amen. God's Vision Ministry. One. And we're just here uh, today, this evening, uh, for the Lafayette Live Friday, man. We'll be either coming on live, talking live, or we'll be having Friday night services. We'll be having Wednesday Bible studies, and we'll also be here Thursdays, too. So we're going to be doing a whole lot the next few months till the end of the year and really get things to going. And most of you who are on my Facebook page, uh my god vision ministry page youtube page you know we do a lot of broadcasting doing even stuff on TikTok, instagram twitter because how many you know no matter where we are at we're in a technological age and people are on the internet they're on their cell phones they're talking every day they're talking all the time they're texting they're tweeting and it is god will and, and I also open the door for us to be where the people are to meet you where you are. So on Lafayette Lab Friday, I want to talk to you right where you are, amen, and, and I want to pose a question before we begin to talk about it. But these are things that I want to, especially this uh, monkeypox that's coming out. I put some videos out on monkeypox, the little pictures, and asked some questions, and I had over 3,000 views on one of them in two days. The other one, I put out four pictures in, on TikTok, and I've had over 20,000 views on that one alone. And I just put out one today concerning the, the, the monkeypox. But I asked the question, I said, can you tell the difference between looking at those pictures between, this is the new one, I don't know if it's going to go viral also, but it's asking about, can you tell the difference between looking at chicken pox and monkeypox? And that's going to bring me into what I want to talk about right now is let's take a little walk back uh, about the early early 80s there was a disease that came out and it was called hiv and the hiv is what they known to say it caused aids and it was primarily said that the disease was mainly transmitted through homosexuals uh throughout the world and they began to say that the trace back of this disease came from somewhere in africa dealing with the monkeys this with some some monkeys or something either eating monkeys or doing something with a with experiment and it comes out with the monkeys um uh, whether that's true or not says them and then many have reported that it was a man-made disease but these are the early origins of what they talk about aids coming out the next biggest outbreak we've had uh we, we've had the uh the swine flu the, the chicken uh flu or something like that we had mad cow disease but the the big ones that really shook was hiv the next one that shook the whole world was this latest one in the, right before 2019 and this is COVID 19. and many of you know that COVID 19 says it comes out of wuhan china out of a laboratory and they said that they were doing human experiments or sometimes not human experiments but experiments with animals and they said that the animals basically were coming from a monkey now we go through that and we get a virus to, to we get the the, the, the the shots to overcome this and now starting in 2022 here comes monkey pox now looking back at the small pox the chicken pox the monkey pox the swine flu it seemed like now it's tied back to monkeys animals and also that's being uh put out that it's mainly starts with homosexual activity that this is it is lonely wide among this is what's being said i'm not saying that's it i i'm just looking at it this is what they're talking about but i see a common thread between the three between covid between the uh these diseases uh that's coming out now these animals and we know man has when he turns into nature over to a bestial nature that when you look at the word of god god deals with that he deals with it his way and he deals with his time and we know praise god that there are certain things comes from this so i i just want to propose a question about this uh and i want to ask the man of God just like, may think about this. Uh, these 
different looking back is it's coming from animals is it coming back from bestial practices with human beings giving themselves over to uh just the lust of the flesh and it's just a, it's just a punishment from god prophet yes can you hear me um yeah i can hear you um yes um well it, it's a um it, it looked like it's a 50 50 chance um, your audio is coming across real. The audio is being not coming across. Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you a lot better now. Okay, okay. So, um, what I was what I was looking at is um, for what you were saying. Um, I, I think um, in so many words on, on so many levels, they, they call it a stigma uh, for us dealing with the homosexuals. Um, like if you get a disease from that and and um, and whether it was man made to, to target a certain type of people. Um, uh, I could say that it's a 50 50 chance that that might have been that way to, to do that um now for his um um uh, laboratories and different things they do all kind of experiments that i see um all the time um i look up on youtube and and i see what they doing um experiments on 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 um they, they had um these rats um these white rats and They'll, they'll shoot them up with heroin and stuff like that. But what they do is uh, they'll start, you know, um, they have like a little sugar water and then they'll hurry up and, and I guess the thirst and the, the fiend for that, for the sugar, they'll start, you know, doing that. So uh, um, there's a lot of experiments. Um, I've I seen a picture of a monkey. Uh, it was a Japanese. And he had bumps and different things all over his face and his lips this morning. I seen that this morning. So whether he got injected or he got um, got into something while he was out there in the wild, um, and you know they probably found him and brought him back. Did probably so many experiments on the, on the Japan Z and and. You know, try to make a cure or something, or, or inject other folks with certain things, other animals, to see how it was spread and different things like that. Because you take a microscope and you can put the same thing on blood, and you know, you see how it reacts and all. Kinds of stuff. The sound is going away again. Your sound is. Can you hear me? Yeah, now can you hear me? Bring it closer. Yeah. Okay. So, for us, the experiment with the COVID nineteen, they said Wuhan, and um, and um, the the um, it's a university. I'm not gonna say the name, but it's a university coincide with that, as they was talking about it. You know, I'm I don't know if it's true or not, but you know, the university. And, and and one man um, in the university had, you know, uh, transpired with, with that. So um, far as I, I know and heard and read articles, you know what I'm saying, it's a different situation. And then it, it's something, um, and now we can go to the spiritual thing. Now, something that God would allow stuff to happen, you know what I'm saying, allow these things to be made and and, and to do his will, you know, with so it, it's a it's a slippery slope that we can look at all those factors and see because the Bible talks about God orchestrates everything, <laughs> you know, and so 
why stuff being orchestrated and, and made and, and different things like that. You know, you see a lot of people dying, see a lot of people catching these diseases. They, they're catching these, um, you know, as far as monkeypox, I don't know when exactly uh, uh, monkeypox been around for a long time. I don't, I don't know um, uh, if, if you would know um, if monkeypox um, been out, but this is the first time I heard of monkeypox. Like you said, I heard of chicken pox, you know what I'm saying? Heard of measles, mumps, um, um, the chicken pox um, epidemic broke out and I, I, I don't want to, want to see it exactly, but I, I think it was what, around the um, 70s or 80s. Or, Things way before then. Uh, way know, before then? I because I know, I know another, I know another, because uh, we had to get a shot. Um, well, at least they, they try to give us a shot for the vaccination for that. when you go to school. But, but my mama wouldn't let us take it, so we, we, we never took it. Yeah, well, um, they have vaccinations they've been giving out for years, but they but uh, then, then the last dormant, and it come up, it will come back out with these people get shingles. But with that being said, I'm, I'm gonna say, let's look at what the word talks about because when Le Leviticus, the book. Uh, 18 chapter 21st through 21 it says uh and thou shalt not lie any of thy seed there shall not let any of thy, thy seed pass through the fire to molech neither shall thou profane the name of the of thy god i am the lord 22nd verse says thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind it is abomination abomination let's talk about an abomination abomination has a beginning and it also has an end. Uh, when God in the in the book of Genesis told man that if the day that he sinned, he surely died. When he sinned against God's word, he died. Death from that point had entered in. But death was it didn't manifest itself until later on. So abomination people, when they get into the act, they don't understand that the abomination then took place. But now there's going to be an end of the abomination. So you might have didn't see it when you was involved, but you will see it once time and it begins to manifest itself more. So here it is. It says, thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is a abomination. So the abomination takes place. Then it says, neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself thereof with. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to the lie down there, there too. It is confusion. So now you got confusion. You got abomination because you're lying with what? Mankind, as, as, as the Bible says, and womankind. Then you're lying down with animals. So now it says, the 24, defile not ye yourselves in any of these things. For in all these, the nations are defiled, which I cast out before you. In other words, all these nations that participated in that have defiled themselves. And many times they think because they participate in activities that there's nothing wrong. If you look at Adam and Eve, it didn't look like nothing was wrong, right? They was out in the garden. They was, they was cast out in the wilderness. They had children. They were living. Their children was growing up. They were working. But they didn't see death until the two got up and they were making a sacrifice. See, they started seeing more sorrow, more death, more pain, murder creep in so now it says and the 25th and the land is defiled therefore i do visit the iniquity the hidden sins of the heart therefore upon it the land itself vomited out her inhabitants the earth itself devour out its inhabitants in other words you're going to reap what you sow the abominations i believe from the book of leviticus talks about how and then we notice that they talked about the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. This is this came after the book of Leviticus, the, the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. And now we go into these days and time, and people are going back, turning their back on God, turning their back on God's word, wanting to invite all kinds of it's about sending your children, burning them in the fire to Molech. Now we're also dealing with the abortion bill. 
the abortion rights. What is that? Killing babies. Yeah, we know that there's rape. We know that there's incest. We know that those things are right. But just to go out and be with somebody in your own free will to make a child and then y'all decide you want to kill it because now it's inconvenient, because you want to lust of the flesh, you're going and defiling yourself with things that God has not made for a man to do. He's made you with certain right. things to, to produce and you go and, and you want to use it for your pleasure, which may look good for a moment. But in the end, the abomination shows up. And so what we see now is these abominations coming out, the diseases. And what does disease bring? It brings death. It brings premature death for sometimes not only the guilty party, but also for innocent people who had nothing to do with this. Now, some of you, I know you don't like what I'm saying, but guess what? I want you to share it, send it to a neighbor, send it to a friend, because we need to talk about the uncomfortable things so we can talk about the comfortable things. Well, I, I'm 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 looking at this. I'm I'm in agreement with the word. Well, well, I think people that don't look look at this side of it. Can you hear me? Yeah, when you come closely, can you? Okay, so uh, th this what what I look like look at uh, from this perspective too. Um, I see, I see even the people that that agree with it like saying it's all right and then one foot in the church and one foot out i even seeing them dying too um i even seeing them giving up the ghost too because they agree you know just like um Adonis and sapphire you know that they, they uh she agreed with her husband with the lie you know that he told and she agreed with them and sometimes you gotta watch what, what you agree on that God is doing in the land, because you'll be end up getting caught up in the same stuff that you had no business being in. But since you agree, you see what I'm saying? That that it's gonna come upon you and death will come upon you because you agree with that mess. I, I think it as a man of a woman of God, what the world expects is they, they have a, a new formula for the man and woman of God. They want you to be so nice and so uh, kind and so sweet and so understanding. And they want you to be this person who bends over backwards and they can just do whatever comes on their mind, whatever's in their heart, and just uh, be as vile as they want to and yet expect the men and women of God that we cannot, what, cry loud and spare not. And sometimes we have to take the harsh decision to let people know, thus saith the Lord. And you may not agree with it. You know, right. when we were young and sick, our mother would give us certain medicines. And the medicine sometimes was bitter. It was nasty. You didn't want to take it. But that thing you didn't want to take in the bitterness and the nastiness was the best thing for you. Yeah. Um, I was looking, um, thinking about Deuteronomy. Um, as I look it up, um, I think it's Deuteronomy the 22nd chapter. Um, let's see. I'm looking it up. Um, okay, so Deuteronomy, the fifth chapter, I was looking it up. Um, it talks about uh, the different abomination, but I, I want you to look at um, the, the fifth uh, verse of Deuteronomy, the 22nd chapter. Um, it talks about the woman shall not wear that which um, pertaineth to unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman garment for all that um, do are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Um, so it, it talks about all kind of stuff in the, the Deuteronomy, the uh, 22nd chapter, um, even wearing the appearance, even... Yeah. Even wearing the apparel, just the apparel, try, try, you know, you know how they do plays and different things like that. 
And they, they put on the costume to look like a woman and doing that and painting their faces. And he said, yeah. even the apparel, the, the apparel. But, let, but look, look, let's stay focused. Let's stay focused on yeah. not on the outer part. Let's talk about what you bring into your body. Because what right. happened, we start talking from one area. See, we talking about this thing that's happening right now. This thing that's affecting people, uh, bodies and killing them, right? Now, we start right. talking about what they're wearing. That's a whole nother subject. And what happens, we get distracted from what the real narrative about is what you're bringing into your body. Right, so, right, right. So, so I want to talk about what you're focusing on, what you're doing with your body. The Bible said that that you are God's. You're not your own. You're bought with a price. He says how he's made you precious. Right. And you're wonderfully made. And fearfully and wonderfully, wonderfully. made. And so therefore, if you buy a physical body, there are going to be repercussions. Any, any, anyone would know that because when you don't use it for its right purpose, the use becomes abuse. And so when you abuse your, yourself with mankind, and so I don't want people to get caught off. Oh, we talking about what a woman comes back. No, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about what folks shouldn't be doing. Let, let's focus in, in on, on that because okay. it's kind of like we can pull all these other things and people won't focus on the real important thing, what you're taking into your body, what you're doing to your body, and what's happening to your body. Because the the... the I say this, and, I, and I've shared it with you and others, and I believe part of what got so many views on that was this. When people look and they could actually see the manifestation of the sores and the disease, I don't think you got to tell too many people talking about no vaccine. When you see that, people run to get it. And you see them lined up right now in some of them states. With COVID, people didn't have to see it. You know, you could hear about somebody going to the hospital, they wouldn't even let you in. So you didn't have all this footage of actually seeing so much suffering. You could every now and then see one person in the bed, maybe trying to breathe, but you didn't see what you're seeing with this monkey pop. When you see that, look, people is like, where the, where the vaccine at? You know, what all right. Well, well, now, this, this is what I want to look at even for vaccines, you know, um, now if if you make if you make something and then you got to have a vaccine as long as you made it um if it's man you know if it was man made you got to have have to have the cure of it um but but um uh, i'm 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 looking at that is it just not coming out like this year is it just or or it's been out you can look at this thing that's been out for a while. It's been up with a different diseases, vaccines and, and diseases. But what I'm saying is they're common denominators. And one is when they talk about Africa and they talk about the monkeys and they talk about the experimentation. Also, how did it also get into man? You And when I brought it from HIV, you can see that they said this was a mainly homosexual disease. And this is how it was mainly spread. And you also see now the monkeypox they're saying is is what homosexually spread. Now, whether it's true or not, I'm saying look at the origins. Because a lot in between, we really don't know. But it seems like there's a common denominator between these these diseases. So would, would it be would it would it be the abomination between man and beast then? It, it, I believe so because it's a combination of the mixture. Let, let me say this: just look at uh, itself when you when you got what they call STDs, sexually transmitted diseases. They come right. out with, with all different kind of names for them: gonorrhea, syphilis, uh, uh, what they call it, herpes, uh, uh, staph infection, all kind of other infections. Chlamydia. Yeah. Now, when you start talking about all that, and you're not talking about the ones that really take you out, and then what is the other one that that you die? that uh, Al Capone died of, uh, syphilis. Yeah, it was syphilis. This is this, these syphilis. are diseases that are sexually transmitted, meaning that just from having sexual activity, 
and then there's one that they call it uh something you catch in in, in in your mouth and stuff people are dying just from that doesn't matter if you say well i'm not with a man or woman you find out if people are t- promiscuous or they're dying just from that so now you mix in the the other fecal matter and the other stuff that goes on and all that bacteria well yeah. you, what do you think you're gonna get if you could if you just doing this and you bring in disease what is it going to be when you introduce foreign things that shouldn't even be involved right and, yeah and, and, and see we, we, we kind of forget that it's all tied together yeah um I gonna say it, it's a it's a um it, it it looked like it's a combination of all you know dealing with sin and that's that's the that's the first dealings of it um dealing with sin then um you know abominations um experiments injections well, just say all kind of huh? say, say the word the word tells you say the man should not commit adultery Man get married, woman get married, they, they marry each other. They they're together. Maybe they have right. a certain maybe they don't. And then a you step outside the marriage and he goes and he gets a disease. His wife becomes infected. Next thing you know, it, it goes into the children or whatever happened. But the first part was you sinned, you committed adultery. Had you not committed adultery, that gateway for all the other things would not have even been there. Right. And, and and so we, we forget God's word that if you obey the Lord, your days may be prosperous, and you know you, you should, your life should be long upon the land. Right. We have a plan for us better than we have for ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and we say when the when the Bible talks about when sin is finished, it brings forth death. Mm-hmm. Um, done its perfect work. Um. When, uh, I, I use it as when, when it's finished, when it's mature, when it's no longer of a, of a thought. I'm doing it willfully. I'm I'm willfully doing it without thinking, without conscious, without you know what I'm saying a, a, a strain to hold back of doing it. So um, when it when it's when you don't care no more, and and when it's repetitiously, you know what I'm saying a, a end is coming. Yeah. You know, um, and then they say you do this and it remains no more sacrifice. So um, when, you, when you're doing too too much of that, now I, I can see God cover. I've seen God cover a lot of people um, on certain stuff. And I also see where his un- he uncovered them. You know, and exposed and different things like that. And then they start catching diseases and all this different stuff like that. So I, I think it, it, it and, and I'm sure for a fact that it all ties with sin. You know, sin, abomination, and and a matter of fact, not not obeying the Lord your God. Uh-huh. And so here's the consequences when you don't obey God. You know, uh, so. You know, sometimes it brings forth a quick death, and sometimes it brings forth a slow death. You know, but the so, way is what it says. It's the death. It's death with the gift of God. But is what eternal gift life. Of God, yeah. So I, I, I think I, I think we need to start picking more life <laughs> over yeah. death because well, obey the Lord. You know, and, and look obey the lord is, is the key and going back to the root of the word and we can see like i said and i'm just saying this from what i've seen on these TikTok videos and things i'm doing that men are concerned this is why they're watching this is why it's it's growing up because men are concerned but then again when you see it then you stop that gateway for this to come through you know that we have many avenues that the enemy wants to attack us but we must understand that this thing here i don't think it's over by a long shot it's 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 steady you know we steady see it on the news and it's steady creeping up so we'll see what's going on but like i say stick with the lord yeah i i i know there's a lot of things been to happen and on this earth 
a um, lot of destruction, masses of people finna die. Uh, I mean, a lot of stuff finna happen. So um, I, I just tell people to to to, and this is just just me, regular, normal. Arm yourself. Um, you know, know you know your word. Uh, study the law. <laughs> um, mm. A lot of big things finna happen for us diseases and destructions and famine and all kinds of things when they come up on this side because i don't think we ever saw a big famine or or even experienced uh, um destruct uh, uh, destruction like a war on the u.s soil or just all kind of different stuff you know that may happen so you know when all this stuff happened and then you get caught in it uh, where you think you're gonna go? The Bible said, "If the the sinners and and you know, then the ungodly, you know, if they die, you know, they they know where they're going." But he said, "The saints gonna scarcely make it in. They gonna barely make it in." So, when 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 I'm looking at is I'm looking to try to help save a bundle of people, you know, even before I leave the earth. So, you know, what I'm saying. Um, saints of God, get ready, get equipped, get equipped with the knowledge of God, uh, get in your word. And, and, and the, the Bible said, the, the word have I hidden in my heart, so I won't sin against thee. E even to try not to sin, I, I got to fill up something that's voided in, inside of me. So if I fill myself up with the word, you said the word w w won't allow you to sin against him. So if I understand that the word it is the the source of of me not sinning and me not doing different things, you know. What I'm saying, um, you know, the Bible talks about your mind. So, Amen. you know, I'm gonna, I, I hate to cut you off. I'm gonna just try to wrap it up. We just went into 32 minutes. I'm gonna cut it off right now. We'll be coming back a little later on today. But I ask you that you share it uh, with a neighbor, like, send it to a friend. Amen. And we'll be also we'll be cutting this up. And we'll be putting it on at different times. So you have a blessed day until we meet again. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom.